and now it's time for Dr. Matthew E. Clay, our AI chief of staff, who is going to tell us how he's using SingularityNet AI in his project on agricultural soil carbon sequestration. So over to you, Matt. Thank you. Hi, my name is Matthew Clay, and I am AI chief of staff at SingularityNet. Uh, today, I want to talk about one of the projects I'm most passionate about, which is our agricultural soil carbon sequestration effort. First, I want to give a bit of background. Uh, so in 2019 in August, Ben Gertzel and I met at a conference in Snowmass, Colorado. The conference was the annual R Day. R Day stands for American Re Renewable Energy Day Conference. Ben and I wished to explore how best AI and blockchain technology could be used in various sustainability efforts. We talked with a number of different individuals and organizations. In particular, we met with Bill Brandt, who is Strategic Director for Arizona State University's Lightworks Sustainability Innovation Accelerator. After that initial meeting, Bill Brandt, his team, and SingularityNet signed a memorandum of understanding, and we have been hard at work. We've been pursuing multiple pathways with multiple academic industry and potential entrepreneurial partners with the goal of designing and funding an entire end-to-end -end carbon and ecosystem credit exchange market based on blockchain and powered by SingularityNet's AI services. The goal is to create a marketplace for tracking, tracing, and verifying agricultural soil carbon storage from farm to business and consumer, and most importantly, to achieve this vision using automated methods that allow for massive scalability. Ben and I believe we have the idea for achieving such scalability, but it will require data access funding, and changes in farming practices. I'll come back to that last point uh, when we go over the marketplace. A bit about carbon sequestration. It can be achieved using multiple approaches, including biological, physical, and chemical processes. The work in which we are engaged with Arizona State University looks at harnessing nature's own photosynthesis cycle to capture and store carbon. To see how this works, consider this purposefully simplified diagram of the soil carbon cycle. At the top of the cycle, we see that plants produce oxygen. They also draw carbon dioxide from the air and water from the soil and combines these to form carbohydrates. The roots transfer these carbohydrates to the foil, soil to feed soil organisms as well as store carbon. The carbon-rich soils in turn help the soil retain more water. And while some, while soil organisms do release some of the carbon dioxide back into the air, the net result is storage of substantial amounts of carbon underground. We next look at the carbon and ecosystem exchange marketplace. Note that while we will go through the marketplace cycle for carbon sequestration, one could similarly create incentives for additional ecological services, uh, such as soil health, water quality, uh, biodiversity, water usage, and, and so on. Starting at the upper left, we see that farmers infuse their soil with carbon via photosynthesis. This process will require major changes in farming practices. Uh, changes that ask a lot of individual farmers for whom farms provide their sole livelihoods. Uh, one primary goal of the carbon credit marketplace is to provide financial incentives and the ability to reduce risk for implementing such regenerative farming practices and sequestering carbon in the soil. Moving to the bottom left, we need to accurately estimate the actual amount of carbon stored in the ground. One of our partners has already succeeded at accurately estimating below ground soil organic carbon levels from non-invasive proxy data sources. 
at least at a local level. We still need, however, to one, further reduce uncertainty at the local level, and two, more, and more importantly, scale the local estimates to achieve accurate soil organic carbon estimates regionally and then globally. And do this across multiple climate zones, multiple topographies, and multiple soil types. We believe that we at Singularity need to have the know-how to solve both of those technical problems. Once the amount of stored carbon is verified, it is placed into a smart contract and a carbon credit token is created. It's listed for sale on the marketplace. Carbon producers and some end emitters, so uh, businesses, uh, businesses such as airlines, vehicle manufacturers, energy producers, cement manufacturers, and so on, can purchase these tokens and this produces the required financial incentives for farmers pursuing regenerative farming techniques. Uh, so to summarize everything, I, I like to think of three simple words, track, trace, and verify. And just as importantly to, to the ability to do those all at massive scale. Uh, should you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me. My email address is matt at singularitynet.io.